Since the launch of the very first AMD Ryzen CPU in March 2017, AMD has provided end users with quite a lot of performance tuning knobs. There's three main ones. The first one is XFR, which stands for Extended Frequency Range. The second one is PB, which stands for Precision Boost. And the third one is PBO, which stands for Precision Boost Overdrive. Let's take a trip down memory lane. The very first AMD Zen CPUs came with two performance technologies, Precision Boost and Extended Frequency Range. Precision Boost is an evolution of AMD's Core Performance Boost technology, or CPB, which came to market in 2010 with the Phenom 2X6 product line. Precision Boost uses a proprietary algorithm with inputs from a plethora of sensors inside the CPU to determine the optimal frequency and voltage at any given time. Precision Boost allows the CPU to opportunistically increase its clock frequency over the base frequency when conditions allow. To estimate the available headroom, the Ryzen CPU relies on the SenseMI technology suite. Inside the Ryzen CPU, there's a large number of sensors that allow the pure power technology to make adaptive adjustments to optimize power usage without negatively affecting performance. Precision Boost leverages the pure power sensor network to boost performance. The original implementation of Precision Boost is very similar to the 2010 implementation of Core Performance Boost as it provides a pretty rough boost mechanism. For Ryzen CPUs, there are only two boost scenarios, two core and all core boost. The Ryzen Threadripper CPUs also have two boost cases, four core and all core boost. A crucial competitive advantage of the Precision Boost implementation is that the frequency can be increased in steps of 25 MHz as opposed to the traditional 100 MHz. In theory, this should allow for boosting in more scenarios and thus enable higher average performance. Extended frequency range is also a pillar of the SenseMI technology suite. XFR is designed to reward customers who pair the CPU with enthusiast-grade cooling and allows the CPU to boost beyond the precision boost maximum boost if conditions are right. The extended frequency range is available only for up to two cores on Ryzen 1000 CPUs and up to four cores on Ryzen Threadripper 1000 CPUs. Contrary to popular belief, XFR is available on all Ryzen 1000 series processors. However, SKUs with the X mark would boost up to an additional 100 MHz, whereas non-X processors would only boost up to an extra 50 MHz. For Ryzen Threadripper CPUs, the extra boost goes up to 200 MHz. The Zen Plus processors came with an improved precision boost and XFR technology, as well as the overclockers extension called Precision Boost Overdrive. Precision Boost 2 is an evolution of the original Precision Boost technology. The principle of providing the user with more performance through frequency boost still applies. However, instead of evaluating the available headroom based on active cores, Precision Boost 2 algorithm evaluates the headroom based on CPU temperature, current, and power. The crucial advantage of this new algorithm is that Precision Boost retires the two scenario boost cases, two core versus all core for Ryzen desktop, and allows for frequency boosting of any number of active cores. The largest improvement can be seen in workloads with three or four active cores, and AMD claimed they observed frequency improvements of up to 500 megahertz. Precision Boost Overdrive is the overclocker's extension of Precision Boost 2, as it provides us with tools to tweak the Precision Boost 2 algorithm and achieve higher frequencies. It is important to mention that using Precision Boost Overdrive is a form of overclocking and is therefore not covered by warranty. If you understand the profound difference in the boost approach of the Precision Boost 2 versus the original Precision Boost, you will also understand the opportunity that arises from it. Precision Boost Overdrive allows the end user to change the power, thermal and current parameters to provide the Precision Boost 2 algorithm with even more headroom. Precision Boost Overdrive has three main tuning knobs. Package Power Tracking, or PPT, measured in watts, is the amount of power the processor can draw from the socket before the boost levels off. It is important to note that this measure includes the power from all parts of the CPU, 
including the cores, but also the memory controller and, if present, the integrated graphics. Electrical Design Current, or EDC, measured in amps, is the peak current that the motherboard VRM can supply under transient conditions. A higher specification and more expensive VRM will provide more headroom. Thermal Design Current, or TDC, measured in amps, is the current the VRM can supply for a sustained period. Essentially, the limiting factor for this will be the combination of the VRM components and the VRM thermal solution. Extended Frequency Range 2 is an evolution of the XFR technology in line with Precision Boost 2. Whereas the original XFR only allowed for up to two cores on desktop and up to four cores on high-end desktop to boost beyond the Precision Boost Maximum Turbo, XFR2 allows for any number of cores to boost higher than the Precision Boost limit as long as the CPU temperature is below 60 degrees Celsius. The Zen 2 processors came with a minor iteration of the Precision Boost algorithm, essentially just a little bit more frequency. However, the biggest change came with the Precision Boost Overdrive feature set. Precision Boost Overdrive Plus is an unofficial name I just came up with to highlight the difference with PBO. Whereas the original PBO only allowed for adjusting the power and current parameters of the Precision Boost 2 algorithm, PBO Plus also allows for automatic overclocking or AutoOC. AutoOC can most easily be explained as a user configurable version of XFR2. As you remember, XFR allowed the processor to boost higher than the maximum precision boost frequency if the CPU temperature was low enough. The maximum boost was 100 MHz for Ryzen processors and 200 MHz for Ryzen Threadripper processors. With Zen 2, XFR disappears and is replaced by AutoOC. The user can now manually configure the maximum overclock in steps of 25 MHz up to 200 MHz. It's important to note that setting 200 MHz simply lifts the maximum frequency ceiling, but does not guarantee a higher frequency. The effective boost frequency is still governed by the Precision Boost 2 algorithm. In addition to the boost override setting, PBO Plus also offers a setting called Scalar. The Scalar is a single factor that, when increased, forces the Precision Boost 2 algorithm to pursue higher voltages more aggressively. As a consequence, the frequency would be higher too. With the launch of the Zen 3 processors, AMD still includes Precision Boost 2 and has expanded the Precision Boost Overdrive feature set, now calling it Precision Boost Overdrive 2. Precision Boost Overdrive 2 builds on the PBO implementation of Zen 2. In addition to the overclocking knobs from Zen 2 Plus, PPT, TDC and EDC, and Zen 2, Boost Override and Scaler, Precision Boost Overdrive 2 introduces Curve Optimizer. Curve Optimizer allows end users to adjust the voltage frequency curve for each CPU core individually. You can offset the entire curve by up to 30 steps in either a positive or negative direction. Each step represents between 3 and 5 millivolt. So, quick math tells us we can increase or decrease the curve by up to 150 millivolt. Two key things happen when you adjust the voltage frequency curve with a negative point offset. First, you effectively tell the CPU that for a given frequency it needs less voltage. And, as a consequence, at a given voltage it can apply a higher frequency. So, when the Precision Boost 2 algorithm determines there's sufficient power and temperature headroom to use, let's say, 1.35 volt, with the curve optimizer, it will target a higher CPU frequency. Second, because you use less voltage at a given frequency, the CPU temperature will be lower. That extra thermal headroom will encourage the PBO algorithm to target higher voltages and frequencies.